Welcome beautiful soul, Kevin here. It's a privilege and an honor to connect with you at such a time as this and it's not by happenstance that you've arrived to this post. There is something for you right here which you are about to receive and for that be grateful. Gratitude is the key word. So um, what have you been up to? How's life been treating you? Is life happening to you? Is life happening for you? Are you one with life? How do you see things through the projection of your headset when you look through your lenses and you look at things in the external realm? How do you perceive things to be? What meanings do you attach to these things? I wonder. So in saying that, I trust that you are becoming more excited about your expected and your future. You're here on purpose. You've been employed by the Most High, the creator of all things, to add tremendous value into the hearts, the minds, the life of many people, every single per person that you come into contact with. Okay, On this journey, you're here to add value to them in one way, shape and form. And every single thing that you go through is happening for your betterment, for your benefit, vice versa. So rather than say things like, oh, I wish things were easier, just become easier at things. Learning the lessons, listening, deep listening. What are these experiences telling you? In areas where you feel that there's quite a bit of resistance, ask yourself the question, why is that resistance there? Remembering this, that if you have negative thoughts, Fearful thoughts, know that these fearful thoughts are there to help you. When you are the head and not the tail, above only not beneath, that's the perspective. So areas where you are finding yourself to be challenged whenever things happen to you from the outside in, know that there are touching places where work needs to be done so that you can rectify those things, knowing that those things are not you. You and things are completely separate. You are not your diagnosis or you are not the diagnosis. Because if I say your diagnosis, it means that we are giving ownership to that very thing that had been diagnosed to be a part of you. And that is so not the case. So I stand corrected right there. Get my point? So moving swiftly, you are here employed to add tremendous value into the marketplace of many. So who is to tell you that you are not going to aspire to be anything great or you're not going to live a, high, a life of happiness and joy and peace and abundant life? Who is to tell you these things? Because these things, these thoughts and opinions from others are just things, opinions from others. <laughs> That's all they are. But who do you say that you are? How are you taking in that information? Who are you giving your power to? What are you allowing to form how you see yourself? That's a question right there. When you look in the mirror on a daily basis, how do you see yourself? Who do you choose to be? Do you choose to say, you know what? Wow, I'm amazing, you know. I'm wonderfully and fearfully made. I'm going somewhere to happen for the good, better and best. I am love and abundance. Is that how you see yourself? Or do you have a different story going on? Because the mirror cannot lie. It will not lie. Give it a try. You can't deny the fact of truth. What you are looking for is looking for you. So congratulations, you've made it this far. It's not by happenstance that you've arrived here. If it's your first time here, do hit the subscribe button, hit the alert bell so you can stay in close proximity to myself. Once the information comes through here and you receive it, it's all good. Nothing but love, high vibrations and light and all of that good stuff. So welcome to the next level. You're doing extremely well. Back onto the course of employment. You are employed. And we're not talking about employment from a 3D perspective, from a filling out a CV, from going for a job, from... Have you got what it takes to fulfill this role in order to be somebody? And then at the end, you're going to get a clock 
thank you for working with us and here's a bunch of money. We're not talking about that kind of employment. We're talking about the main source of employment, your purpose in employment, the reason why you are here, the reason why you're crafted, made, formed and shaped in nothing but abundance and love. That kind of employment, that employment where before you even ended up on planet Earth, you'd already been finished. Everything had been finished before your assignment started. That's the employment we're talking about. So with that being the case, with you being employed to be here as a living, breathing entity, a human, an amazing being, having a human experience on planet Earth, with that being the case, what is it that you are doing in order to transform the lives of the very people that you come into contact with so that the vibrations are risen higher and this place is a better place to be heaven on earth experience so to speak what role and part do you have to play are you writing off yourself are you saying to yourself things like or have you been saying to yourself things like this i'm just not good enough i don't have what it takes I need to have X, Y, and Z before I can start to think a certain way and execute and to be, do, and have certain things. Has that been the story that you've been telling yourself? And if so, why? Have you been believing in stories that have been shared with you and you've chosen to adopt as your truth regarding your character, your identity, who you are? Because you see, limitations, the limitations that we put on ourselves is the limitations that we expect. So if you don't feel as though you can aspire to become any better, the truth is, you'll go as far as how you feel. If you feel as though what happened to you 20 years ago was the sum total of what you can expect to be, see, do and have, in the future because the truth is this fellow blessed one in the now everything is here if you think about the future it's a thought projecting to things that you're expecting to happen if you speak about the past you're speaking about things that have happened but it's all happening in the here and the now so how do we change the course of our lives by simply changing our thoughts with thoughts being things and then putting corresponding action to them thoughts. Faith without works is dead. So every single step that we take, every move that we make, everything that we say lines up with what we are creating. So we are creating the future in the here and the now. And life is for living. So I challenge you to choose to have thoughts of peace, not of evil. When you have a look at yourself, have this self-image of someone that is amazing and beautiful and brilliant, high vibrational, powerful, caring, compassionate, wonderful person, being. Have that still image in mind because that's the truth. And as you continue to walk in the power of your higher self and align to everything that you know you are enjoying creating with you being a co-creator, as you continue to do that more and more and more, what's going to happen? It's inevitable. As much as challenges will take place with it being character building day, you will start to see the manifestation of those very things from deep within that you desire come to full fruition and it's a beautiful thing because it's happening right now as we speak so continue to persist until you succeed you're succeeding every day you're succeeding all the time it's happening in these little intricate ways and we can't see the fullness of what's actually going on but do know this it's happening and we've got powers 
systems and things supporting us along the way. So whenever we decide to make a decision and choose to go in that direction, what's happening is this. We're putting out signals. We're putting out the go-ahead in order for everything that's been designed to work in our favour to go to work. So it's like praying by default. So rather than look at what we don't have, let's look at what we do have. And what we do have is everything that we need. What's in your hand is good enough. You are good enough. You are more than enough. So let's celebrate that truth. I'm so excited for you. So that's that. Moving on. I'm going to be introducing some amazing people to you that will be adding tremendous value into you and to your community. And we're talking about things from health, education, finances, media, government, entertainment, everything that will cover all of the mountains. You're going to be finding information coming through this channel into your lap so that you can run with the information and build everything that you know that you've been called to build. So do look out for that. One of the guests that's coming on, I'm super excited about this particular guest. They have this book that is coming. So do look out for this book. This book will radically change your life. Let me tell you this. I've had a sample of this lady's work in the form of food and the healing. Next level. I'm not going to go into too much in regards to the powers that be behind this person's wonderful recipes. I'll let the work speak for itself. If you are about radically changing your life for the good, better and best in regards to health, there's going to be some powerful nuggets inside this book. Now, if you choose to put this information to practice, you're going to see a wonderful transformation take place in your health and wellness. So I'm not going to give away too much right now. Just make sure that you subscribe, hit the alerts bell so that you get the information as swiftly as possible. Because remember, it's not by happenstance that you've arrived here. You've been guided here on purpose to equip you. And I also need to be equipped by you. My community needs you. Your community needs me. We're all here to help each other aspire to greater things. Do look out for much more things on this level right here. Everything that comes through me is to heal, to add value to you and yours. So well done. You've made it this far. I'm excited about your future. And the time is now. That's it from me, Kevin Clark. Believing in you. Keep up the great work. Much care, love, respect and appreciation. Bye for now. <laughs>